What's up YouTube? Now today we've got a pretty good video on explaining the difference between a British 75mm which is this one and a French 75mm shell which is this one. Now when you look at that obviously the difference from these is clearly the fuse. You can see that the French one has a beehive fuse which funnily enough is made in France and was French built. That's got a tube there, you've seen that before as I've had another one of these and I've took it apart. And obviously this one's the number 80 and it's British built, so it's on a British shell. Now, taking the fuses off, you can clearly see, if I put them closer together, that there is a big difference in height. There's a good inch and a half height difference. The French is taller and the British is smaller. And now, getting into more detail here, if you look at the dry band on the French shell, you can see it's quite thin and not very wide. And if you look at it on the British shell, you can see it's quite thick, not very well rifled in places, and it's sort of what they call a double effect. I was explaining the double effect on the drive bands again. This is where one part of the drive band here remains flat, there is then a rim, and then the, the top part of the drive band is rifled. This is to um, help preserve the barrel of the gun again. Obviously, if you don't know how rifling is formed on the barrel, or on the drive band, sorry, it's put into a gun, the breech is shut, and then the gun barrel is rifled with sort of a spiral effect, so it makes the shell spin as it goes round. And the way it does that is it grips, and because the copper is um, a soft metal, it easily goes into the um, spirals, and then it forms the rifling which you get this good rifling effect. So that's how rifling is formed if you didn't know but I'm sure you already knew that if you're watching this video. And there is a bit of a weight difference. The French shell is a bit heavier hence it's got more steel because it's taller. And if you look down there I don't know if you can see it it's sort of still full of gunpowder in there. So that might, I might need to empty that out if I just get a torch. You can clearly see down there now that that's not the bottom, that's full of gunpowder. You can see it glistening in there. And if you look into the British one, that's been emptied out and you can see the remnants of the tin cup in the bottom of it there. Now I expect that the French shell should have the tin cup in because it's still got gunpowder up to the bottom of it. Don't worry though, this gunpowder is 100 years old. It's been out in a field and it's completely useless and harmless and it would not ignite. It's got no chance of igniting. Just to clarify that, it's not dangerous. So don't, don't go worrying that it might be live because it's not. And that's pretty much the main difference. The obvious difference is the fuse and the drive band. And then if you look closely, it's the double effect on the drive band, which is British. And also the um, height of the French shell is normally larger. And obviously, they both fit into one of these. If I just point that down, the French shell easily fits in. And I won't show you the British one because you already know that goes in because you've seen it in other videos. And just whilst I have the time, I'd just like to comment on this trophy that I've designed for my design course in college. It's um, pretty sturdy, it's all glued together, it's solidly down. This is for a newspaper award, well it will be eventually, if it's allowed to be used. And I designed, created, cut all the materials, it's basically all my idea, with pretty much no help. So, that's what that is for, just for those of you that are wondering what it's for, because I've had some messages asking what this was for, and etc, etc. And I've had pretty positive feedback, but that's what it's for, and I'm quite happy with it. Oh, and the woods are dark oak, hence the dark effect. This was from a floorboard, and this was from a windowsill. This is pine, and they've just been oiled up with um, wood oil, obviously, and glued together. Oh, these cogs are out of a machine, quite a large machine that spins it round, if you get what I mean. I'll not go into much detail because it's a bit boring, but that's pretty much it. But 
back to the main focus of the video and the 75mm shells that's the height wise, that's the difference, this is French and of course in the next coming weeks I will be taking this fuse apart and I will be doing a video on that then you can look after that but coming up in the next week, hopefully next week if everything goes to plan I will have a World War II Brexia mortar which is an Italian mortar designed in World War II for a pretty quick fire in effect but it's very accurate and it was very um, very good during the war and widely used and that's Italian built and that will be coming next week if it all goes well so that's it for now, thanks for watching